What's up guys, Andrew Brandy here and it is that time of the week. It is time for the weekly FAQ video, the super original video series where I answer your questions, which no other YouTuber does, especially definitely not on this day or Monday. No, 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 no other YouTuber does this very original content on this channel only. So before we get started, as usual, I wanna talk about a couple of things which you guys are probably familiar with by now, but I have to mention them anyways. First and foremost, if you want your questions answered in a video like this, just drop them on the comment section of this video or join my Discord server where you can also ask questions in the FAQ submissions channel. In this video, I've picked some questions from both YouTube and Discord, so once again, you can submit your questions either way. If you're interested in joining the Discord server, it is linked in the description below. I also want to give a big shout out to my current Patreon supporters. Once again, as always, this would not be possible without you. You guys help me out a lot more than you could ever know as many times as I say thank you. And for those of you that have not joined my Patreon, if you're interested in getting audio downloads, of basically all the videos I do, including a lot of the ones which I can't put on Spotify and Apple Music. You can get those on my Patreon. Also, if you're interested in mixing, mastering, recording, whatever, I also release all my stems on Patreon. So if you're interested in either of those two things or a shout out as you just saw, go check out my Patreon. It's linked in the description as well. And that's pretty much it for all the plugs. So now let's get right into the questions. So the first question comes from Ivan Keksiojevic. And he says, what do you prefer, death metal or deathcore? Greetings. Thank you for the question. This is a pretty easy one for me. I definitely prefer deathcore, which I'm sure many people will not be stoked to hear, but I just find deathcore to be, I don't know, just better all around. Um, I've never been super into death metal. If I listen to death metal at all, I like more like the technical death metal, but even then I find I can usually only listen to like one or two tech death songs before I get kind of tired of listening to it and I have to switch to something else. Whereas I could basically listen to Deathcore pretty much all day, and as I've said in other videos, the reason I started playing 7-string guitars was because of Deathcore. When I was, I guess, 15 or 16, I got my first 7-string guitar to play Whitechapel and Suicide Silence songs, so that's definitely where I come from musically, and that's still what I like to this day. Alright, the next question comes from C on Discord. He says, if you had time, what would be an instrument you would love to spend time learning and why is it the didgeridoo? Funny enough, I actually used to have a didgeridoo because I went to Australia when I was, again, like 15 or 16 and obviously if you're a tourist in Australia, you have to buy a didgeridoo. I couldn't figure out how to play that thing for the life of me. I don't know if it's just because I had like a shit $10 didgeridoo, maybe that made it harder. I don't really know, but didgeridoo would be honestly probably pretty fun if I could figure it out, but uh, my actual answer as for what instrument I would like to learn would of course be drums. Um, I always enjoyed playing drums in like rock band Guitar Hero when I was a kid and briefly for a period of time I had an electronic kit here um, because my band used to practice here and our drummer at the time had an e-kit and he just left it here since this is where we practice so what I would do was I would actually put Rock Band on my TV and I could see the TV from where the drum kit was and I would just put like no fail mode on and then just play the real drums along to Rock Band because that was like the only way I could kind of figure out what I was doing because obviously I don't actually know anything about the instrument. I just, if I could visually, it's almost like reading guitar tabs but for drums, that's how I felt about it. But yeah, playing drums would be sweet. The next question comes from Discord as well. It comes from American Wannabe, and they say, would you put another Evertune in your guitar? So in case you missed a couple of my recent videos, I've been featuring this Solar Guitars 8-string, which has an Evertune bridge, which you can see that big boy on the bottom there. Um, so that's what an Evertune is. Essentially what it does is it makes your guitar never go out of tune, hence the name Evertune. Um, as for your question regarding would I put another Evertune in a different guitar, I don't think I would retrofit an Evertune into an existing guitar personally because I, I don't know, it just seems very risky because it's a lot of hardware and you have to do a lot of routing. Like as you can see on the back, there's this huge cutout where a bunch of mechanical stuff goes and I don't think I would want to put any of my guitars under surgery to do that because it just seems kind of risky in my opinion. However, I would definitely get a new guitar that has an Evertune built into it from the beginning. I would much rather do that than retrofit one into an old guitar personally. Also, side note, when Evertune finally decides to make a bass Evertune, they are gonna sell so many of those because having a bass that's perfectly in tune would be awesome. The next question comes from YouTube from Mr. Fictional Oxymoron. And they say, FAQ number four question. Really, everyone wants to know this and don't skip over this. 
When are you going to do a Glass Cloud tuned down? Well, technically I did Glass Cloud tuned down, but this was a long time ago and it was more of like a meme video where basically I just played some white noise because Glass Cloud already tunes to drop A0. I guess technically now I actually could do Glass Cloud tuned down with the 10 string over here. Oh, which is so hard to pick up. So I guess I could technically do Glass Cloud tuned down on this thing but it would only be like a half note difference, so I don't really know if there's a point, but if that's something you guys wanna see, I mean, I guess I could do it. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see Glass Cloud tuned down on a 10 string. All right, next up we got another Discord question from Sierra, and she asks, how are you? Well, I'm pretty okay for the most part. As I said last FAQ, I had some personal stuff that happened uh, without going into too much detail. Uh, basically what happened is one of my very close friends passed away. Um, I don't want to go into the details of how or why at this point in time, but um, it was obviously pretty hard to deal with it. Still dealing with it because it's still pretty fresh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but other than that, I've been pretty good. Still getting used to the whole being a full-time YouTuber thing is just weird in general. It's weird to wake up and then all I have to do is walk from my bed to my computer and then I basically have zero human interaction all, all day. Very, very weird to be alone all day. But it's been good because I've like been talking to more people on social media now, whereas before I just didn't really have the time to do that. And also, honestly, doing Discord has actually helped a lot too because it's like an active chat room where I can basically talk to anyone almost all day as long as someone is online, so it's pretty cool. I enjoy it quite a bit. Next question comes from Paul King on YouTube, and he asks, Hey, do you like Kiesel guitars, and what is your favorite amp? Uh, yes, I like Kiesel guitars. I used to own a Kiesel Vader 7-string for a very long time. Um, I sold it earlier, or no, I guess last year, around September, um, actually to fund this guy instead. But the Kiesel Vader was an awesome guitar. I definitely liked it a lot. Um, the only reason I sold it was because the original reason I bought the Vader was actually to tune it to like a weird drop F tuning, which is what I finally did with this one like years later. But with the Vader 7 string, um, if I remember correctly, the thickest string that I could get in there due to the headless hardware was like a 70 or 72 or something like that. And I couldn't really get that low enough to an F, so I ended up just leaving it in drop A. And then as time went on, I ended up getting a bunch of more guitars, clearly. And now I have like three seven strings and two of them are in drop A, so I didn't need a Vader being a fourth seven string that's also in drop A. Cause I was, just, so I ended up just selling it cause I, I honestly just sat there for like four or five months and I didn't use it a single time. So I just decided to sell it to get something else, but the guitar itself was awesome. I would definitely get another Kiesel, like, if the right opportunity or time arose. Definitely like those guitars. Uh, the other guitarist in Galactic Pegasus, Cooper, has two custom Kiesels, and they are beautiful. His 8-string is ridiculous. It's one of the nicest looking guitars I've ever seen, personally. Um, yeah, so Kiesel guitars are sweet. And then you ask, what is my favorite amp? Um, I kind of answered this in a previous FAQ, but the quick version of that is, I don't own any amps, but if I were to own an amp, I would just have the 5153 50 watt by EVH. Or Most of the guitar tones that I use are based off of kind of the 5150 sound anyways. I mean, technically, I guess lately I've been using the Fortin Nameless, so I guess having the Fortin Nameless amp would technically be better, I guess, but the 5150 is like pretty affordable and it's like a pretty good amp that pretty much anyone can afford if they save up for a little bit. And I still think it sounds amazing, so I'd probably just get that, honestly. But I have no desire to because that's what the Kemper is for, so. Next question comes from Discord from Evanith, and they ask, what is your favorite new metal band? This is a tough one because it's a really hard choice between two new metal bands. It is between either Linkin Park or System of a Down. I think I have to go with Linkin Park because that was the first band that I ever was a fan of, and they are new metal, or at least their old stuff was new metal and I still like it to this day, so I'm gonna have to go with that. The second choice would be System of a Down, like I said. They're like a very, very close tie. I, I don't know, I kind of like System of a Down more nowadays, but since Linkin Park was the first new metal band, or the first band in general that I ever really, really was a fan of, I kind of got to give it to them on this one, honestly. All right, the next question comes from YouTube from Kyron Walters, and they ask, should do a What If Andrew Bain played in standard tuning video? 
play a bunch of Galactic Pegasus and one more Slice Rifts in Standard. Yeah, so on the last FAQ video, the last question I did was about Standard Tuning and I made a little joke about it. And then I had a bunch of you guys comment saying I should do Standard Tuning as like kind of a meme video, I guess. Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe I could do that, but I literally don't have any guitar in Standard Tuning. I would have to use like a 7 string and drop A and just like not play the 7th string, I guess. But technically, I guess it's doable. Actually, no, it's not because none of my riffs are in a standard tuning ever like it would have to be like drop D and then like maybe I could see about doing that which maybe that would be a fun video I don't know well I'll think about it we'll see we'll see all right and the last question of the day comes from discord once again and it is from Taylor at pyramids and he says if you had to pick one guitar and one set of pickups what would they be like trapped on an island type dilemma and then his second part of that question is do you manage or how do you manage your time working on content like a job do you give yourself set times of the day to work on content for YouTube? So for your first question, I feel like I've answered this before perhaps, but since I'm not sure, I'll answer it again. My one guitar that I would, oh fuck, that's a tough one, man. Mm, uh, if I had to pick one of my existing guitars, I would probably just take this one right here. Because once again, this is my most sentimental, I don't know why I'm holding it upside down, but this is the guitar that has the most sentimental value to me. So if I had to pick one of my own guitars, it would be that, um, and if I had to pick like any guitar, honestly, I would probably still pick something like this, um, except instead of the bare knuckle cold sweats, I would probably go for like Seymour Duncan Alpha Omegas, but that would be it in my opinion. And then for the second part of your question regarding how I treat YouTube and content creation now that it's my full-time job. So for the most part, I try and give myself like regular work hours. Basically, I wake up every day at like 10 a.m., so I give myself a little bit later of a start because I like staying up late at night. I'm usually up to like 2 in the morning every day. Um, so basically, I wake up at like 10 and I kind of get started like, going on stuff at like 10, 30, or 11. And pretty much I work on YouTube content from, let's say, 11 until 5 or 6 usually because that's when my fiance gets home from work. So I basically work while she's at work, and then when she gets home, I try and hang out with her and do something that's not music related to give myself a break because otherwise I would just be sitting in front of my computer literally all day and all night and I don't want to do that. Try and go for some walks and other stuff because again, all I have to do is walk from my bed to here so I'm gonna gain a lot of weight if I don't go do stuff. So I've been trying to keep that in mind and not just overwork myself um, too much. All right guys, so that'll do it for this week's FAQ video. Once again, if you're interested in having a question featured on next week's video, just leave it in the comments below or go join my Discord server and drop that question in the FAQ submissions channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to reading your questions and I will see you guys next time. And that's it, Serena. That's it? That's it. Yeah.